Happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me. Yep, 2nd of February, 2022. And I just, just realised a few minutes ago, it's 02022002. Yeah. yeah. And to uh, mark this tumultuous uh, 54th year completed, and the sort of spiritual significance of zero two whatever that is i've got a cold i woke up this morning with a stinking cold sneezing my nose is getting quite sore and throat's getting a bit sore um i can still taste all right so i've made myself a what have i made a lime ginger honey yeah, like hot lime ginger and honey. I can't even think straight. <clears throat> yeah, so that's a great way to start my 55th year of being on this planet. Ah, right, I have a few sort of letters and uh, things here. The first one is from a viewer called Barb Durham. Um, and she says she was sending me some small pea-sized uh, chilies that you crush up and put in food. But by the look of it, they're seeds. There's four different varieties here of chilli and she's enclosed some growing instructions so i think i might actually i need to get some uh, german asian powder i think they used to call it rooting powder something like that uh, and some compost and so on and, and pots or whatever but i think i'll have a go at that thank you very much barb the next is a birthday card because it was my birthday it's a birthday card from alan and carol and Eric the cat. Meow. Thank you. And thank you, Eric. Hi, Kevin. I've sent an email to you with a note as below, but thought I would print off a copy to send with the cards. Yeah. And it says, happy birthday to you, and happy birthday to you, and happy birthday, dear Kevin. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Happy birthday, Kevin, on whichever day in February it is. Well, it's the 2nd of February. And I understand that uh, your wife, Carol, um, it's her birthday on the 4th, uh, which was yesterday, so belated happy birthday. I would have replied to the email, but I've just been I've been on another planet, man. And I'll, re I'll read your letter later. Got a birthday card. Happy birthday again, wherever your adventures take you, and on whichever canal you travel by, here's wishing you fun and happy memories ahead. Yeah. Alan, Carol, and Eric the Cat. Meow. <laughs> Very nice, thank you. Yeah. It's a card. It's got it's got it's got an airboat on it. Yeah. Right. Um. And he's also. I think he printed this off himself. There's a there's a picture of a, a guy on his motorcycle, um, but on the back there in studs is TBM. Travels by motorbike. And there's the. Uh, Yep, excellent Gary Phillips artwork on the back there. Actually, when I get on the canals, I've uh, I've arranged loosely to meet uh, Gary and his uh, lady. Um, so hopefully, we'll uh, we'll do something video wise. Um, either way, uh, it says Happy Birthday, Kevin. Wherever your adventures take you, and on whichever canals or roads you travel by, here's wishing you fun and happy memories. And and it's. He's printed off a montage, because what you need is a montage. What we need is a montage. Um, without the light in the way. And it's scenes of 
good looking guy. It's scenes of that guy from the Travels by Narrowboat in various sort of scenes and situations. So what I'm gonna do, I've decided, is I'm gonna I'm gonna cut that across there so we're gonna have that and that and then I'm gonna get a long sort of like probably about 16 inch frame long and narrow and I'm gonna have like that on the top little space this on the bottom uh, wherever it is yeah that on the bottom and then I'm gonna have that carved wooden dove of peace and the token in the center and I'm gonna put that up there in that gap you see that's the uh, Enfield metal uh, sign and then in there see I'm trying to do this looking at the camera anyway that's enough of that while this cold is coming to an end and the headache is slowly subsiding <laughs> um, I think it's time for me to have a quick look at the uh, impeller in the Jabsco water pump which pumps coolant around the engine uh, fans of the series will recall that uh, in season two Aslan had two overheating uh, episodes uh, the first time I thought it was the thermostat wasn't opening I took it out and traveled along without it but then she overheated again which told me there was something a bit more than just the thermostat and it turned out it was the rubber impeller which had perished and basically lost all its veins now to cut a long story short I eventually got a, a spare but then I found a spare on the boat so I had I put I fitted that spare and then received the two spares that I'd ordered so I had two impellers and then two years later I thought I'll just check it again out of uh, just to be sure and to my horror I found that that one was starting to break down and it had lost uh, one impeller one vein um, so I'm gonna check it again and more than likely just replace it for peace of mind firstly I'll turn off the isolator for the header tank See, then I'll fit this piece of rubber hose, which I keep just for this very job. And I'll open the tap. Access isn't the best here, but you have to make do with how things are. Oop. And you've also got to be careful not to drop these screws. Though I do have spares. Oop, where are we? for that very reason, tiny little things. Right. Here it goes. <coughs> Not so bad. And the kit comes with a new gasket, so I shall uh, I shall bin that. It's coming. Ah, there we go. Right. It's actually in surprisingly good condition. It's uh, Obviously the, the veins are bent over because that's the way it's been in the chamber of the pump. But there's no signs of the splitting. That's good news. And that will open up our new Jabsco. Uh, genuine Jabsco impellers. Profile D. It's a 22405-0001-P. New gasket checking it's uh, the same as the old one which it is and with the impeller you get a little sachet of impeller lubricant so we shall put some of that on each of the blades I have to do this whilst laying each blade like backwards which is the natural there we go which is the natural way the pump will want to uh, the impeller will want to go anyway ah, I think we're in there there we go Oof. yep we're there I'll give the face another quick wipe 
just put a bit more rubber lube this cover only goes one way up the holes are deliberately offset to make sure you do it the right way And then I simply give all of those a tweak up. Some models of this pump have up to eight screws. So I'm glad this is just the classic four screw model. Yep, I think we're there. Oh, it doesn't do your back a lot of good in these confined spaces, let me tell you. But it's there all I've got to do is just bleed like the bottom and the top after turning the water back on and that's that job done I won't be starting the engine up just yet to check um, because you can probably hear it's blowing an absolute gain out there it's supposed to be 49 mile an hour winds today gusting to something like 55 60 and it's uh, it's chucking it down with rain so there you are but everything will be fine. I have a box. Oh, there you go here. Oh, I tell you. <clears throat> right. This is from Tom and Becky McFarlane. Kevin, uh, having been to the UK in the past, we know that no matter what time of year, things can be a bit cool on the, a bit on the cool side occasionally. When you got the t-shirts from Sky a while ago, we decided that since we now had your address, we would send something to help you stay warm. So, yeah. <clears throat> I, I am enthusiastic, by the way. But, uh, <laughs> what? Hello? What? What? My... Right, okay. My word. <laughs> well... It's, it's Aslan, it's a tight, it's a lion. It's a lion, yeah. In, interesting, interesting, interesting color. Right, well, I instantly saw this and I've, and it's made me instantly think of something. Think Rocky, Eye of the Tiger, okay? And when I get going on the canals and I do my first video, I've planned it all in my head and the lines that I'm going to be saying and uh, I'm going to wear this and when you see it you'll instantly just think Rocky and I of the tiger okay so yeah first episode of when I'm when I start traveling sometime in February the video it will start with a thing <laughs> that that is that is absolutely perfect <laughs> and yeah you'll see you'll see well thank you very much <coughs> yeah yeah that's tom and becky mcfarlane well that's it i'm uh, i'm struggling to sort of think of things at the moment but i'm over all the coughing and uh, sneezing bit and my nose I mean, it's only when i lie down at night um, that my nose starts to bung up so if I if I lie on my right it's okay if I lie on my left you can just feel your nose fill up it's on the left side it's just weird um yeah but uh I it's it, it must have been a 48 hour thing so I'm just in the after effects now uh, I mean you know, beforehand it just knocked me out but uh yeah so three days I'm I'm sort of getting there now right that's enough of my jibber jabbering um and uh, right I'll uh I'll see you all again soon what is it now? I don't know what day it is, but uh, yeah, twenty. Well, twenty-first of Feb, and then the twenty-eighth. They're getting closer. Can't wait. All right, so cheers for now.